so hi everyone chinese ai is on a roll now and after deep seek r1 kimi 22.5 vl byte dance has now released a new paper on omni human 1 which can help you generate realistic human videos like singing dancing etc with just an image this is crazy stuff and this is way more better than deep fakes that came some year back if you remember so basically as you can read the tldr we propose an end to end multi modality condition human video generation framework named omni human remember that the framework is not open source now but only the paper has been released and i feel that soon the framework should also be open source but for now we will be looking at some of the examples and how the model is trained and how does the architecture looks like so this is the architecture and this is how the training is done we'll be jumping on to this in the later part of this video so first of all let's see some of the examples generated videos omni human supports various visual and audio styles so it not just generate the videos it can also generate audios as well at any aspect ratio and body proportion portrait half body full body all in one this is quite cool let's see one of the examples Labs in the best place to find a lover so the bar is where i go me and my friends sat at the table low and shot straight Now this is looking completely realistic. Let's see some another example. When I am alone I sit and dream and when I dream the words are missing. And this one is my favorite. Oh, hi. 你们是怎么发现我的？虽然我知道这样说有点不合适，但是 This is from nowhere looking like this is artificially generated. At least the second video was actually looking spot on. and as you can see that all the generated results on this page only any single and image or audio is required so this is crazy even with just audio also the framework is able to generate videos this is crazy talking omni human can support input of any aspect ratio in terms of speech also so this is one of the examples by albert einstein which is circulating a lot on the internet let's see this one as well what would art be like without emotions it would be empty what would our lives be like without emotions they would be empty of values this is looking way more than realistic to be honest there are certain other videos the team has shared as you can see here come. and i know about this because i had the opportunity to stand on you boring is easy everybody can be boring this is some crazy framework once it becomes open source for people or even if it is paid i think people will sp- still take it apart from that not just human it also supports cartoons artificial objects animals challenging poses and what not as you can see this is some another level of yes generative that is coming this is position in two words now if you see this one boring is easy everybody can be boring but i think the era of AI generated video is now getting started and this is just a stepping stone more half body cases with hands also so not just the lip syncing part it is also able to accurately judge the hand motion also so this is very very interesting so let's see this example this was how i was making an impact in the lives of my 60 students so this is crazy if you notice the hand movement let's see in this case also i work when i get the accolades when when i i go in fleets and flights this is crazy stuff because not just the audio and lip sync which is usually the focus of the models it is now able to sync in hand gestures as well more portrait cases singing videos are also available compatible with video driving due to omni humans mixed condition training characteristic i will be talking about this it can support not only audio driving but also video driving to mimic specific video actions also so now i think this is the paper summary that the team has given now we will be jumping on to understanding the architecture and a few more things about the model so let's get let's jump on to the technical part of the omni human now so here as you can see is the architecture that we are talking about so i think this is a as they have mentioned multi modality conditioning and progressive training methods are used talking about first of all the architecture i think dit is the word to go for every model that is generating videos or images now that is diffusion transformer i will take some time to cover diffusion transformer in detail in my next video so for now it is a combination of using diffusion with transformer architecture 
omni human model if you look here there are multiple things that the model can intake that is text images noise is random noise audio and pose this is this is very very important as mentioned here the model uses transformer based architecture to process and combine these modalities so text images audio and pose these are all four different types of modalities and the model is handling that transformer blocks are present these blocks process inputs like all the four inputs that we are mentioning about here as you can see transformer blocks are present and frame level features these features are used to create realistic video frames with accurate synchronization of movements omni condition training strategy this strategy involves progressive multi stage training so i'll be explaining you what does this mean the training is divided into stages each focusing on different combination so text plus image text plus image plus audio text plus image plus audio plus pose so everything is trained separately yeah we have the model has been trained in different combinations of modalities so if you look into this particular the further left hand side of the image stage 1 as you can see text image stage 2 is text image audio stage 3 is text image audio pose so they have used different types of data sets they have mixed everything and then depending upon different permutations generated they have got a data set to train on that that is why the model is so good as you saw so basically the keyword here that we got is progressive multi stage training so for multi model architectures i think this is the way to go where you if you are trying to handle five or six modalities for example you need to have a permutation of all the combinations possible and then eventually train them on those particular data sets now as you can see here the input modalities as mentioned text is one descriptions image a single image audio can be speech music something or lip sync pose is motion signals from video or pose data and all these multi model data sets are then combined into transformer based architecture for example if the input is an image and audio the model generate lip movements if the input includes pose data also the model uses it to create realistic body movements so whatever in input comes in it will generate the video dependingly now talking about the progressive training strategy so first stage 0 pre training with text to video and text inputs second is training with text and images training with text images and audio training with text images audio and post so different stages as the stage moves ahead the commodality is increased as you might have understood now after the initial training the model undergoes mixed condition trainings this is all training with varying ratio of motion related condition to enhance its versatility output the final output is a high quality video that matches the input condition so i think in brief we have understood how the architecture works what is omni human how it is trained and this is would be a revolutionary framework i think once it gets released for public or even it becomes open uh, paid also because the quality of the output as we have seen is just amazing and it is able to generate everything not just video but audios as well so one question before we left out is that whether omni human one similar to deep fake uh, deep fakes that came in a few years back so there are couple of differences one is deep fakes usually rely on gans that was generative adversarial networks if you remember that were quite popular at that time and omni human is based on diffusion transformer second thing the quality of omni human one is way higher as compared to deep seek apart from that deep seek deep fakes were usually used for fraudulent activities i hope omni human doesn't get used for it but i think looking at the quality i th we need to have some sort of ai security as well so concluding that i think omni human one looks to be a very strong framework that would just blow off the internet once it gets released the paper has been released now and they have discussed the strategy used i hope the model releases soon and we are able to test it out thank you so much